Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about uh, Sabina Mazo, Mazo versus Miranda Maverick. And this, I keep saying this, I'm sorry that I repeated it, but I think a lot of these fights have interesting qualities, so that's how I choose to open them. So again, if that annoys you, I am sorry. Uh, but yeah, this fight's interesting to me because Miranda Maverick on a two-fight losing streak, she shouldn't be though. Uh, I thought she beat Macy Barber almost with ease. The third round was a little closer, but I even thought she won that round. But if anything, if anything, she absolutely won those first two rounds. Judges absolutely suck. Um, then she lost to Aaron Blackovic, Black, Blanchfield. Uh, Blanchfield, honestly, I think Aaron, um, Macy, uh, not Macy, Miranda Maverick took it on short notice, I believe. Um, and Aaron really just wrestled her, beat, up, beat her up, never really gave her a chance. But you seen, as soon as Miranda Maverick started um, striking, like using her strikes and all that stuff, she had some success later in the fight. She just couldn't keep it up, couldn't keep her off of her, and she lost the fight. Again, on a two-fight losing streak, yeah. Uh, 24 years old, she stands 5'3 with a 66 and a half inch reach. And that's a pretty big one. But she is a minus 270 favorite. So the, the odds makers understand that she is pretty good. Sabina Mazo, 9-3, also lost her last two fights against Alexis Davis and Marina Agapova. And we just seen how bad she just got beat this last weekend. Um, that's she dropped her and then rear naked choked her. She's the plus 220 underdog, which does make sense. To also 24 years old, she'll be 25 here in a month or month and so month month or so. She stands 5'7 with a 70 inch reach advantage, but that's four and a half inches. Crazy. She's very, very tall for this weight class, very long for the weight class, but something she doesn't do, she doesn't tend to use that reach advantage. Um, because even with uh, Marina, or right, right, that's her name, Marina, Maria, Maria, Agapova, I'll just say Agapova, for some reason I can say that better, but Agapova, you know, when she fought Agapova, even though Agapova is uh, long, at, you know, herself, Sabina chased her, uh, especially when the finish had happened, when she got finished, and she got dropped, and then Renee got choked, she was charging in, um, so... For someone who is as long as she is, she doesn't use it very well. I expect, sorry, I expect Miranda Maverick to go in there, um, beat her up, dirty boxing, use her kicks, but she's going to have to get in the inside. So she's going to have to get her against the cage and maybe get a couple takedowns. Um, but again, Sabina isn't, what the heck, decision split. She has one rear naked choke that I can see right here. But who knows? Miranda Maverick is a decision. She got a cut stoppage, whatever. It doesn't really mean a whole lot. But I think Miranda Maverick has to be very uh, accurate, decisive, and calculated on the stuff that she throws. Yeah. It's going to be a hard one. I think Sabina Mazo is going to go in there. She's going to try to take her down, try to submit her. Um, but I like Miranda Maverick. I think she really, really can beat up on uh, Mazo. And uh, get the win, get back that win. Because losing three in a row would be a problem, even though we all think Miranda Maverick is very, very good. And she shouldn't be down two fights. So, as always, guys, hit that thumb button as hard as you possibly can. And you know what it is. Peace.